Bear Creek Arsenal has been making rifle parts and actually rifles for quite a while. I've bought a number of things from them, including a couple of barrels, and they've worked out really, really well. Well, now they're in the pistol market, and they have the uh, Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly. We are going to talk about this interesting Glock clone. A lot of Glock clones out there. So how does this one stack up? Well, let's shoot it and find out. <laughs> All right, thanks for dropping in while we take a look at the Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly. And it does have grizzly fur texture. I don't know if you can see how, or how well that shows up. Grizzly fur texture, uh, both side panels, back strap, and even the front strap, and even a nice touch. You've got uh, thumb rest uh, or finger rest, whichever you prefer, on either side of the front sight. Or excuse me, front, uh, either side of the frame. There we go. Uh, that's pretty good texture. It actually feels a little better than my Glock 17 is a Gen 3 and uh, this feels a whole lot slippery on the side panels although it does have decent stippling front and rear does not have uh, a thumb or index finger point on the front but essentially the Grizzly is a Glock 17 clone same width same height same everything same form factor uh, again clone because uh, I think the, the what the third generation Glock is off patent now, so um, that it's free to copy, and they've been doing it now. The nice thing about Bear Creek Arsenal is they make everything in house, with the exception of the magazines. These uh, Glock 17 pattern magazines are by uh, KCI, and they don't make those, but they say they make everything else in house. Although so many parts look identical to my Glock 17. Now, some nice features on it. Good cocking serrations, better than what you have on the Glock. I didn't have any forward serrations on my Gen 3 Glock. There is a lightening cut on the top of the of the uh, slide. Makes up for the uh, the weight of the Ghost HDG optic, which we will talk more about in a minute. Four slot pick rail uh, does have um, luminescent sights. They're not illuminated, but uh, they get light on them and take them into a dark area and they will glow for a while. And I think HK does the same thing. Uh, but your basic Gen 3 Glock, uh, only made by in-house by Bear Creek Arsenal. All right, let's take it out and shoot it a little bit and see how it works. We'll just keep it simple here at uh, 12 yards, and I will start out using their KCI mag. came with one of them. And again, everything about it so far is Glock. All right, let's, uh, you know we have to see what Alice says about the plates. So let's start out with Alice. And Alice says go right to left this time. All right, kind of like it. And again, it feels like a Glock. The trigger feels like a Glock. It's around five pounds. Uh, you know, what's not to like about a Glock? But again, I, I do like the fact that it's got the uh, bare fur texture and a place to, to mount my thumb when I uh, do get uh, grip this properly. It does have a stainless steel spiral fluted barrel. Again, these are all made in-house. And uh, we're going to have to take it out to 50 to see how accurate it is. But uh, it feels like a Glock. All right, before we go over to 25 yards, I do want to make a correction. I think I said it comes with one of these KCI mags. It actually comes with two of them. And again, 17 round Glock style magazines. Uh, nice feeling gun so far. Let's take it over to 25 here and see what it'll do. And of course, let's start out with the uh, raccoon, green then one on the right. Let's go to the red, red crow. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go, head flipper on the black silhouette. Uh, orange woodchuck. Can I get that head flipper back? Gotta hit it. Come on. Again, that's me, not not the gun. No reflection at all on this Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly. Or the optic, for that matter. There we go. Center of the red soul. Can I get it back? Uh, six inch, way over there on the left, an orange one. Oh, uh, come on. Well, that's not going to bode well at, uh, for 50 if I can't get a six inch here at 25 yards. Especially when i got about four shots left. I'm still going to get that six.
or not. There we go. Two shots left. Have we done the standing red prairie dog? I don't think we have. There we go. And the 12 inch white with the or black with a white center. Alright. Again. That's no reflection at all on the Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly with the uh, Ghost HDG optic on it. I'll talk more about that as we take this up to 50 yards. So again, the uh, Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly does have a four and a half inch barrel. It's a Glock pattern, uh, as I said, so pretty much everything's Glock 17-like. I bought a five and a half pound trigger and everything feels Glock-like on it, uh, no complaints. The uh, Ghost HDG optic is interesting. It's got a two MOA dot as well as a 26 MOA circle in it, optional between the dot, the uh, circle, or the circle dot. And they claim that this particular optic is drop safe and tested onto concrete optic first from six feet. It's not my gun. I'm not going to try it. Uh, it certainly isn't my sight. But so far everything seems to be working. Uh, maybe Sage Dynamics will test this at some point. So far it seems to be working okay. It does have Shake Awake. Uh, they claim there's uh, eight different uh, daytime settings and two night visions and 50,000 hours of battery life. It is a side mounted battery, which I do like. All right, let's uh, go out to 50. See if I can hit anything at all at 50 yards. Let's start with the uh, silver gong. Did I even hit it? I'm not hearing it. There we go. How about the 16 inch high right? 12 inch below it. I get that. 12 is moving. 10 inch to the left of the 16. So I got the 16 again. There we go. 8 inch below that. White with a flex center. 6 inch to the left of that. Got the gong. Got the 8. Come on, get the 6. Using Winchester 115 grain white box. Ah, 6 is moving. Okay. Got, uh, what do I have here left? Three or four rounds left. We'll stay to the 50. There's a kind of a reddish brown silhouette with an orange center hanging to the right of the 12 inch. I can tell if that's moving from here. It's getting foggy. My glasses are getting all fogged up. Let's go over that silhouette again. All right, let's go back to the 16. Come on. Do I have anything left for the gong? That's it. It's raining, it's humid, glasses are fogging up. I'll, I'll use whatever excuse I can come up with, that's okay. Steel sights, which I do like it again, they're luminescent type, they're not, uh, they're not night sights, but they will work if it's, if it's got a charge in them. Uh, the uh, Siley Ghost HDG sight uh, seems to be pretty nice, fairly, working fairly well. Does not quite co-witness. It is a direct mount, by the way. It's an RMR mount, uh, RMR mount on this uh, uh, Grizzly, uh, and it is direct mount, so there's no plate involved. If the sights were just a tad higher, you'd have uh, at least a lower third co-witness. But as it is, it, the sights are just barely out of sight on the uh, on the uh, plane of the optic. So the Grizzly is uh, definitely um, an affordable gun. This thing, again, about half the price of a Glock. This is uh, under $300 manufacturer's suggested retail price. Now, I'm not trying to sell the gun. I'm just merely informing uh, what, what the gun is. So, for half the price of a Glock 17, it's definitely beaten a third generation Glock 17. In fact, I'd probably take this over the uh, even the fifth gen. I uh, definitely like it. All right. The Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly with Grizzly fur texture on the grips and a Siley Ghost HDG optic working real well for me when I do my part. All right. Thanks for stopping in.